So why is this clock uh, different and important? Well, it appears to be the first and the earliest surviving of all Tompion's signed works. And it sits on a turntable and you can actually admire it by turning it right round and you can see all the sides on a table. You've got a window in the back to, to see the pendulum. And then you've got the glass sides to see the in you can see the the movement and everything working. So it's was designed to be admired rather than just uh, to be on a wall or uh, shut away. It's, you can see all the way around and what a beautiful clock it is. On the lower edge of the dial is a calendar aperture and you can see the date the 25th um, in the aperture and that will change um, just after midnight and the, the hands are just gone midnight now and if I move them round you'll see the that's one o'clock in the morning two o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning so it's just the same as British summer time changing in the early hours of the morning on the side of the clock is a pull cord for the shutters and the maintaining power and all you do is hold a little knob and pull and that cocks the shutters and cocks the maintaining power opening the shutters so you can wind the clock. So you can see the shutters slowly beginning to close now and it will then uh, drop out and cover over the, the, the winding holes for uh, the going train, the, the striking train and the alarm train. To set the alarm at the tail end of the hour hand is used and you move the disc ground so if you want it to go off at seven o'clock in the morning you move the disc until the tail is in line with the seven and then in the morning at seven o'clock it will go off. So to switch off the alarm in the morning you reach out out of bed and switch the little nib over there and stop the alarm. And how about that for an alarm clock on your bedside table?